In this video, I'm going to be going over adding a color scheme and adding some visual elements that will help to break up your template. The first thing that you might wanna do is uh, choose which colors you're going to want to use for your template so that way it's nice and cohesive. It's going to end up looking really professional. You can uh, go to the link that I provided in the comments section. They have a ton of good things to choose from or you could even match the colors to your existing website or your favorite football team or really whatever you wanna do. I like to choose a color scheme that's going to have about five or six different colors in it. Uh, one that has a neutral color like a white or a gray and then a couple random colors and then one that's going to be more of like a alert like for buttons like a red or you know a, a bright vibrant color like that. Uh, so I have a, a color scheme that I've been working with. I'll show you here. So it's kind of a bluish greenish and then it has red uh, as the alert or the draw attention color and the neutral color is actually going to be the default gray. Um, I've changed the color of the text as well to a really dark blue, um, almost black, as opposed to the default blue. So I'm gonna show you how to choose all of these and uh, really create a nice cohesive design here. All right, so I'm gonna go to the tab that I've been working in. And first, what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to decide, are you going to use panels to break up your information? Uh, did you wanna do more of just a line break? or do you want to stray away from these altogether and just do a alert color? So I'm gonna be going over all those. The first thing that I'm gonna go over is actually the quickest thing, which would be to just change the color of your header. So for that, I'm gonna use the color that I've been using for the alert, which is, oh, no, sorry, I went over that kind of fast. So down here, you've got your color tool uh, the first box here is the background color. The second one is the text color. Here you have your font size, your font, and then the two options you have are, well actually it would be three. You have regular text, you have bold text, and then you have italicized, I guess four, which would be unbold italicized. So uh, the default one is basically going to be regular bold text, which is what you would see here in eight point. So I'm gonna bump this up a little bit to 10 point. And as you can see, it'll kind of let you know what it's gonna look like. And then I'm gonna change the background color, actually, sorry, not the background color, the text color. And I'm gonna make this uh, a red hue that I've been using. So if you do go to the website, it has the uh, RGB colors that you can use instead of using your slider. And that way you can keep everything consistent throughout your design. So my red is 194, I've got 33 for green and 33 for blue. Okay, after you've got that, you can add the color and then select it. And then, uh, so now we can see exactly what it's gonna look like. So then from there, I could basically just come here and highlight any uh, headings that I want to do. And then I can click change font and we'll see that change made. So that's the easiest, fastest way to organize things by color and break it up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and reset those colors because I don't actually want that on here. And the next thing I'm gonna show you is doing more of a line here to break it up. That would be the second fastest thing you can do. So that's actually a panel. It's just a really uh, um, long and uh, short panel. So you would need to actually bring up your edit records window for that. And you can add a new field and you can se uh, select panel from the drop down menu. You can have your uh, panel, it can have a name. I usually don't do a name on the panel. I'll usually just add a text regular text uh, with just a label instead of doing a panel name because you have a little bit more versatility that way. So I usually just do blank text type is panel and then you can right click to add your field to the tab. And as you can see our panel doesn't really have any color yet. So I want this panel to be way at the very top. I need to move things down a little bit because as you can see they're right at the top. So for that, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna move 
everything below this point down. Okay, and that'll give me a pretty good area for that line. So when you have your panel highlighted, you're just going to use your shift minus to make this panel shorter. If you go too short, you can use shift plus, and then you can use your plus and minus keys on your keyboard. So once you have this done, To save a little bit of time, I'm actually just going to go about halfway here. Uh, I would obviously go to the very end. Um, so then once you're ready to have it be a color, you can highlight it and then you can click change font. Whoops, actually that was uh, just the text color. So one second here, we'll get a background color. Okay, so now when we highlight it, we'll actually see that color change here. So that's pretty much how that works. Um, on these ones, you've noticed that I have a couple lines to break the page. The best thing that you can do to save yourself some time is copy and then paste fields create new for any uh, following breaks that you might have. And then from there, you can go and modify the colors. Otherwise, it takes quite a bit of time to extend these and do all of them custom. So that uh, copy and paste feature is definitely one of my favorites. Okay, so let's just say that's where we wanted everything to go. Uh, that'll end up looking pretty nice. The next thing that you could do is you could actually do a full panel to break up the page. This uh, ends up looking pretty nice and you may have seen it on some of the other templates, but it's definitely going to take the longest because uh, you've got to you can't just drag on these panels. You have to actually use the plus minus and then shift plus and minus. So let's make this a little bit more of a neutral color here. I'm gonna uh, left, double left click on this to capture the color profile that I have. And then I can use that to actually change the font of this. So the full panel would look more like this. Um, you just go all the way down and then all the way down here. And then it would look more like a solid block of color or color blocks to uh, block everything. All right, so let's just say those uh, elements are going to be in this box. So now that you've got your panel, your text doesn't match. So you definitely want to go and uh, edit that as well. Make sure when you're, uh, before you change your text, you make sure that everything is the correct size down here. So I mentioned earlier that it's going to be an eight point font bolded and I'm gonna choose my navy font that I'm gonna use later. Okay, all right, so we can't just uh, drag and highlight everything. We have to move this panel out of the way and then you can right click on the elements you wanna change and click change font and then you can drag your panel back into place. So that's how you make everything cohesive by using the panels. Okay, so uh, you may have seen in my other tab that I actually am using just the line across. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy one of these lines so that way I can keep it consistent. And nice and easy. Okay, so that's one. We'll get another one before the acuities, and then I think we'll do one before the Amsler grid. Okay, so you can see how, how quickly this uh, section goes. And then I'll probably do one at the bottom as well. Okay, awesome. All right, so now all that I really have to do is change the text color and the background color. And for that, what I can do is I can double click on um, actually what I already have set up because watch when I double click this one that's already set up with the correct background and text color it's going to change the profile down here see that 
So that's a nice quick way to do it instead of uh, clicking on here and getting your color and uh, everything else that entails. So I'm just going to go through and uh, try to select things as efficiently as possible. You are going to use a combination of dragging around everything and right clicking. There's really not a good way to do it. It's just kind of what you feel comfortable with. I wouldn't highlight everything on the page and then click change font. I do it in smaller sections because uh, it's pretty easy to mess up and ac accidentally click on one of these boxes and then you have to start over. So, And I am doing only the labels. I'm not actually doing the text boxes. You can do that if you want to. The um, background color and the text color works the exact same way. So feel free to do that if there's any fields that you wanted to highlight to uh, that may be like required or if you just want to uh, separate everything doing it that way. So there's that. So now I am well into my way of making my template look nice and cohesive. I've got a good color scheme going on and everything is nice and aligned. The next thing that I'm going to go over in the next video is going to be changing the tab order.